Hi there and welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers to Portugal land to to this this world that came from Asturias that has been reinstated, thankfully. <laughs> it was shortly part of Aquitaine and now we're strangely not ailing anymore, but we we should, would, could be, because we're I mean we have cancer too. That's just one thing that this is us allegedly. Wearing a mask because we're disfigured, we're even one-legged from our cancer treatment and everything like that. So we know that we're kind of dying. I mean, when you're missing so many limbs and things, then um, you know that there's something you must do for, poster for posterity, right? A desperate move, maybe. You want to grab something for posterity? Because the wrath will not, will only meet you and not the ones after you. So, I want to go for for that kingdom war that we have here, the Sultanate of Africa. There's not much opposition, so here we go. Sultan Musafaradin is our unfortunate opponent. move our spawn point here rally point and we'll raise everyone hopefully we can overrun quickly we'll see we'll see about that they tried to stop us but look 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 Wally might join the holy war as an enemy foreign ruler enemy ally joins war when I was in the castle town with Odonio, his attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. That's our son and ward. He lifted his head and made a show of ignoring the criminals begging for water. He's arrogant, but we're arrogant as well, so we think that's cool. They're going away and we should try to catch it, probably. Do we have someone who's moving quickly, maybe? Mayor Osorio of Guadalajara. Rough terrain expert. We we don't have rough terrain here, and we won't reach them anyway. So we'll let the Duke of uh, Granada take the lead. And you guys here can siege Constantine. You can go to You can go to Constantine actually you will go to Will of Bazaar and you'll wait like here as a possible reinforcement Declared war What What King Ordonio of Aquitaine is attacking us. Rally the troops. Great stuff. That was really the perfect moment. <sighs> Head of faith. We need some gold now. And we'll call in just about everyone against Astorius. Just about everyone against, uh, against not Asturias, against Aquitaine. The Queen of Asturias, we cannot call her in? What a coincidence. Oh well. That was one of these situations where you do that, right? You just invite everyone regardless of the cost yeah, we cannot invite her here but she could help us against the sultan of africa <laughs> uh, 
great stuff. Yeah, we'll just call in everyone. We don't care it's about Dynasty Renown. Yes, I mean as a as a game player you care, but not as a role player, right? You think that is a stab in the back, the dynasty must hold together and so on. Call your house member Count Silu of Javoden, he can help help us here. Our ally, the Baroness, should help us here if she can. Mm. Okay. Great stuff. So, um, what is it that we want to do? We want to quickly take over. Our foes shall learn to fear just about everyone in our realm. What time is now? We can't really wait a lot, so we'll have to force it. Here we go. Will we go ourselves? Um, Mm. That's the question, though. I will send in that organizer. He's just quicker and better with supplies. Got a lot of support from the Pope. We can call on our ally here in the Holy War. The Baroness. Excellent. So we have a couple of men coming in here. They should hopefully unite. They're just as strong as Akiten. An extra hand. Oh, we've got a lot in common and we should become good friends so we can trust each other. And the question is really, should we try to marry in more now? And we could do that maybe. Let's find out. So we've got Asturias. Galicia. Our son needs to marry someone. Or whom do we have here? No, we really want to marry our son to someone. It's not betrothed yet. And Leonor Livigildiana Setubal. Seems like a good choice. Or that little one. No. The older one. Here we go. I'll accept that. And in Asturias, can we arrange a marriage here? Have our great grandson here. Mm. They will not accept that. Okay, okay, okay. Need someone else? No. A son would have been accepted, but we don't have more sons. Yeah. Martial lifestyle. We can become a strategist as well. Diplomacy, martial, enemy fatal casualties, crosses rivers and straits without advantage penalties. So we're a strategist too. Your son will be betrothed to my granddaughter, Leonor. And now we can do like a... We say it a dirty trick, I don't know. Um, we'll see if we can do that, right? Um, so that's our lifestyle now. It gives us some martial experience, but we don't need that anymore. We can all go to medicine focus. Because we have something something to complete, right? got something to do. 
I will quickly seize that county if we can. Here we go. Sieges are getting one everywhere. neighboring counties and then we'll return and beat back it's definitely what we uh, can see as blitzkrieg right they're trying something here to Dorka comes of age they grow up fast yeah 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 she's She's one of the best members of our dynasty and she's betrothed. She can marry now. Our bodyguard, knight and friend. So they are here. I should walk in quickly. Yeah. Um... Somehow unfortunate. We should unite here. The sick mare, no price is too steep. We want a good horse. You guys should unite. Rough terrain and organizer. We need someone great. We want to save our people, right? So that, that's something we'll do ourselves. We have this guy here. King Nunu should be coming in here. Knights Hospitalier have been called in. Come on. Come on, we can do it. Beating them on holy ground. We're leading ourselves. Decisive battle. We have made it work. Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg style. Now we need to go back. Land here in Murcia. Not do that ourselves. We need someone who is quick at organizing. May Alvaru. Go to Valencia. Army of bodies. Mm. He's already leading something. Uh, Ramon. Going to Alicante. And here we go. Holy Order hired by King Gotthard of Grand Moravia. Oh well. There's a gift. Please accept this humble gift. The Libigildiana Tapestry. Duke Adolfonso. Uh, thank you, man. Analytic adventurer. Uh, he hates us so much because we have so many titles now. And that cannot be ignored. We should have a look at our prisoners. Fariwash. And call in the house member. But we cannot really call in. And ransom this guy. And there are more people at our prison. This analytic atheist, and he's apparently a good desert warrior. He's a good desert commander. We'll see if he... I mean, he's cynical, so he'll accept a conversion. No problem. We have Jibril. Could be useful. So, Jibril. Hmm. We have Mikhail Islid. Nothing will be paid for this kid, I guess. Might just as well recruit him. 
Give him a good education. Of course, we need to convert him. Like, just like here. Um, she's probably got a very bad education. I mean, she's... Oh, she's one? Okay. Can we ransom her? No. Um, we'll give this kid... A proper education. And that's what you would have done with the kids if the parents didn't manage like to, to catch them. And you would like give them an ed education and make them Christians. That's what we're doing. Of course, I mean, in modern times, that's very much a crime against humanity. <laughs> and I understand that. These are not the modern times. This is a game. <laughs> Golaba Aglabed. Uh, a wandering bold maniac. Maybe you maybe you need Maybe you need to stay here. What she's she only thinks yeah I mm, It's too dangerous. We'll we'll send her away as a Catholic. Here we go. Had a beautiful victory here. And now yeah, we are the owner of the Libby Gildianas. Farewell. What about Leon? Why is the county of Leon now Portuguese? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Nuno finished the promote culture task in Sevilla. Nice. So we have in Sevilla. Now I have Astro Leonese culture. Nice. Um, do we have another capital? Like we have Granada, Astro Leonese. Sevilla, Astro Leonese. How about Calatrava? That's Andalusian still. Let's, let's send that over to. Uh, Malagon, Astrolianis, Caltrava is Andalusian. Which of Cordoba? It's Cordoba. That's Astrolianis. Okay. Jain is Astrolianis. Let's see. What about here? Kingdom of Portugal. It's Portuguese. King Pinola of Portugal is, of course, Portuguese. Yeah, that will be a little bit difficult, but we have other problems. Let's see. Um, we have the county of Molina. It's part of the Duchy of Toledo, and it's Andalusian still. How did that work out? Hmm. County of Kaltayud. Need to find the um, the duchies, right? Here we have Aragonese culture here. So let's convert um, Saragossa. So we have a united culture. And now we need to distribute. Uh, we need to call. Uh, yeah, we cannot do that. Okay, yeah. Now we need to distribute our kingdom. Let's see. Let's see. Um, we should have too many duchies, maybe. Can create titles. The Kingdom of Africa, for example. That would give us a title. A crazy big title. Uh, we have one kingdom so far, I think, the kingdom of Andalusia. And if we could, that would further split up the country, right? So, um, hmm. We need to find relatives to give stuff to. He's got eight of eight. Then we've got our great grandson. Uh, of Saab. I think he's ruling here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might just give him Tabasa. Right. Tabasa should be his. Of 
grant him top asa here we go then let's see sativ anaba infante christian the second Constantine. We need to look at our second grandson. I got a great granddaughter, another one. All right. Then Gotez. Gotez, Gotez, Gotez. He'll become powerful now, too. Two countships. He's managing well, probably. He's good at diplomacy and stewardship. And he's a genius. It's time to give him something. How about we give you things here? Satura, Gerda, Constantine. Uh, Karvan and Mayida. He should be able to make duchies from all kinds of things like that. And he also got kids. Let's see. He's got a son, our great-grandson. He'll also get some titles. We'll give him these two. We can see that he can have five, so he'll get more. Also, little one, you should train... You also get uh, this, this, and this. So he's an extremely powerful count now with five titles. West Kuamuda. He's got West Kuamuda. <laughs> Then mm, we have two more, or even three more, that we could give away. Jerba, Suvara, and Biramir. All of them very, very good. Hmm. Maybe our, our leper guy will get something. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him these. I mean, he, he still got some holdings up. So I think we'll give, we'll give his son, Jerba. And I'll give the father. He's fine. <laughs> these two because he has some kind of power he can defend here help defend at least and we have the Havara emirate here <laughs> oh god and Chadamus of Gadamus and Sardinia okay okay I mean it seems pretty good and now we are properly um disinherited, so to say, from, from our troubles. We will go over there and beat Akiten. Incredibly loyal. Yeah, and they should have good income too now. About him, yeah, he also has some income. It's nice, it's nice. It's not the best, but... They should have some house power. Here we go. You should unite. You should unite. I mean, they unite. Forbidden love. How could my daughter Anna and her half-brother Infante Christian be lovers? What? Especially because he's a leper. Uh, <laughs> I 
attraction opinion, minus 35. Uh. The world will know of their crimes against God. Imprison them for disgracing. They'll attempt to cover up. As a last act of love. Ah! Promote culture in Sevilla is over. Oh, yeah, we've already seen that, right? He's already promoting somewhere else. In Saragossa this time. Nice. Of course, it seems like we're asked to Leonese. Uh, negotiate an alliance with Count Xil of Gerba. Good, good. We shall indeed do that. Honored to call you an ally. We have landed. And I have an army here. It could be led by our nephew. Move to the mountains of Alcanes, you will move to uh, the bishopric of Tortosa. And there's another couple that will also move in. What's that? Army of Javodan. Hostile army. There's a lot of armies coming in here. They're sieging. What's going on in Leda? I know that there's someone important in in Leda. Count Gomez. Oh, that's a knight in our niece. Coming in here. Time to strike. It's a defensive battle, so we have a big advantage right off the bat. Need someone good here. Lead the army ourselves. Here we go. Coming in. And a lot of advantages should play out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still have a big, big advantage. Look at them. Oh no! He died, probably in battle. Our personal champion. Something's on at the Royal Court too. Ah. A feline hunter. I think I found the reason why some days are more rat free than others, my vassal count Alphonse happily declares. He moves aside to reveal a servant holding a very displeased cat. It wriggles in an attempt to free itself. Okay. Um, Count Alphonse. I'd love a female com fel feline companion. Yeah, we, a female companion we have already. A feline companion. Will be good. And we've got a new ca uh, a new artifact that we can hang here. The Livigildiana Tapestry. Very nice. They have more coming in. And we also have more coming in. No surprise, surprise. The cat rests in my lap. We'll call her Flame. Because of the orange fur. What a great name. Our Braco died. Uh, of old age. Being a new court jester in this humorless world. Gibril, average, rational empath, Catholic Berber. Come on, Gibril, you'll do it. The Knights.
this is a uh, brutal battle that we've won. Gave us 27% war score. <laughs> All right, um, well, let's siege then, I guess. Uh, we'll split that army up. Uh, you go here. We'll go to Barcelona. There's another army that will go here. I know that will take attrition, but yeah, let's move a little bit. Then we'll see. Army of Badis will go here. Slipping away, Odonu seems to have been giving, having a difficult time at our latest feast. He sneaked out early, was not seen for the rest of the evening. Our son and ward. Um, he's unlanded still. Have better things to do, do those instead. Oh, he's inbred. Mm. Gain tons of personal claims again. Let's find him a spouse. Maybe the delicate Princess Eva of Great Moravia. Content altruist. Yeah. Great Moravia. You'll marry... King Gotthard of Great Moravia. Move over here. Charge! Okay, you'll not go there. You'll stay here and siege. Dum -ba -da -da. We have a death. We have a faction again. Dangerous faction. Mm. Too weak to send an ultimatum. King Adolfonso of Portugal. Count Vela. Count Sancho of Calatrava. Mm. We could sway him. A lot of sieges going on at the borders. Wow, there's nearly no progress here. There should be some progress here. I mean, we have some siege machines here. Let's go here to the coast. Demanding artifact from Lorien. Our grandson. What do you want? The Astoleonese. Nope. Always only want the best ones, right? Only the best stuff. We can call on our ally King Gotthard of Great Moravia. Yeah, we could do that. We could also not do that. What about you? Alfonso of Milau. He's got chronic headaches already. Come on, man. Rather got some money than you. Oh, he was actually... Not that old. What are they doing? Um, might have to run over here. Will siege will be as personally? I guess so. They're coming in, trying to get us here. We have an advantage. Uh, we should send... Mayor Osorio, because he's way quicker. Come on, march in! 
battle has begun. We have a small... Oh, time for treatment. Uh, it's too late for caution. We're an eunuch now. Oh, <laughs> she has short her potion that put me to sleep. Oh, how wrong I, she was. I could neither speak nor move, yet I was still aware of everything they did to me. I tried to scream, but I was a prisoner in my own body. I will live to see another day. With one eyed and wounded. And that in battle. How hardcore are we? Our knight maimed Duke Odon. Ailing. With Allah guiding us. Uh. The Asharis. Where are they now? Where are they? Oh god, they've risen up here. <laughs> That's terrible and terrifying, but hopefully we will win that battle here. And it will hopefully have a big impact. Yeah, not big enough. I'll go back here. We'll siege here for a while. We can learn. Hmm. Anatomical studies, pedagogy, scientific, faithful. <laughs> what helps us uh, with survival? Washing our hands, carefree, restrained. Sure. We'll go for that. And will not personally lead armies here again. Our half-brother can do that. He's a good sieger too. Mm -hmm. And you... Uh, should have... Another sieger. Ready to strike here as well. Hopefully we'll soon be ready. You Christians been impressed with one of the household knights. Greatness comes. Yeah, yeah, he can. He can keep patient. Patient is a good trait. Trying to gain everything here. As soon as that siege is done, we'll win. Or that siege, or that siege. It's really easy. That will be hopefully soon over. Here we go. Enforce the demands. And now hurry back. Ha! He paid 603 to us. Nice. Okay. Uh, we're dying. Apparently. The armies must go back. The armies must go back. Setafura, here we go. Wow, that's a little bit harsh. Yeah, maybe let's land here first. 9,000 men. And we have died. We have died. Emperor Christian I of Portugal rests in the arms of the Lord at 66 years of age. He died of cancer, even getting operated in the middle of a battle and still winning that battle. A charming man, he became famous for his elaborate feasts and grandiose balls. Yeah, he had grandiose balls and lover's fox. Emperor Christian ascends to the throne, a formidable duelist. Many expect him to excel in tournaments and personal combat alike. We're at war. Yeah, we were king for 22 years, which is quite, quite a number. Growing to 66 years, it's, uh, it's definitely something as a dwarven, uh, dwarven man with so many things. Yeah, we lost eight titles on succession. To him, Duchy of Cordoba. Mm -hmm. 
Infante Dragshan, Saragossa, Niebla, Cuenza, Ucles, and Madrid for the central ones. And let's have a look at the lineage. First, King Adolfonso, 49 years, the Conqueror. Then King Rodrigo the Melancholic, still doing well. King Adolfonso, who just about made it so far. The oldest of them all, but still not with the longest reign. King Adolf Adolfonso III, who didn't live so long, still did some things. Emperor Guyen, the one who founded the empire, who could take over very, very young. And then Emperor Christian, who ruled for 22 years, growing as old as his father, even if he was uh, with way way less good um, prerequisites but he had a nice wife and now he's succeeded by Emperor Christian the second that is us Emperor Christian the second of Portugal we will continue King Alvaro of Badajoz became the new dynasty head oh well he will um, yeah this is us and we are magnificent we are magnificent really yeah i mean at least we have a lot of gold we have a lot of military strength we are very good at diplomacy stewardship we're okay with the prowess gregarious compassionate and arrogant we know how to throw a party we're a bleeder which is a problem for us but we're also comely and a genius, which will help us a lot, probably. Our wife, she likes us, and we quite like her, too. We've had four kids so far. And one, our player heir, is already a duke. I'm not mistaken, yeah. Even a double duke. He's also a powerful little chap. And he's even healthier than we are. Troth it with the rational believer here, our, our cousin, who has also got her focus on uh, martial education. We are the new emperor of Portugal. And Portugal has stayed mostly intact. We've only gained two. Or we've only gained uh, one holding or something like that. And that was the capital here. We'll see what that means for our realms. We're defending against the populist uprising in the Kingdom of Africa that was recently taken here. And that will be pretty hard to defend. Um, we have nothing raised at the moment. Or oh, no, we, we have everything raised still. And we're just in the process of shipping over all the levies too. What we could do maybe is uh, go for the Knights Templar. We're missing faith though. We're missing faith. The Knights Hospitalier are in our territory and we could hire them for free. Theoretically. Oh no, they're not in our territory anymore. Okay, so they could help us if we could get the faith. And so the question is if we should instantly go on a pilgrimage. Well, we'll look deeper into our realm and uh, into what we will do as an emperor in the next episode, my friends and deep thinkers, because there is a lot to consider, a lot to look up, a lot to find out about our relations to our siblings, as you can see here. Some of them like us, some of them don't like us. Uh, it's it's a crazy life we live. It's a crazy time we're in, and we're indeed a Midas-touched bureaucrat. And the question is, how will that influence us? We can have a look at how much we have already accomplished, and it is not that much. It is not that much. We have become likable. 
and uh, things like that, but not much more. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. Wow, look at the expenses we have. This is Simon Rakan signing out. Have a great time until then. And see you soon in the Empire of Portugal under Emperor Christian II, who is magnificent. See you soon.